Hey folks, Shelly here from Design Files. I just wanted to pop on with a really quick video to show you some great new updates that we've added to the mood board software. Now these new updates are gonna make it possible for you to really enhance each of the product images that you use within your design board. So let's select this chair here for an example. And when I select it, and if I go over to the toolbar, you're gonna to see a new option here that says image adjustment. And if I click on that, it's gonna open up this panel and it's gonna show me all of these different filters that I can use to enhance this product image. So if I wanted to pump up the brightness a little bit, I just pull the toggle to the right or I can darken it. I can also uh, pump up the contrast a little bit. So if I wanted it to be a bit punchier and down here, I can use the saturation to add in a bit more color or strip the color out and kind of bring it all the way back down to a grayscale. So you can kind of play around with this to uh, adjust your product images and get them exactly the way you want. And if you adjusted this chair here and you like all of the adjustments that you've added and you want the same thing to happen to this one, what you could do is you can select the item that you've just adjusted, just go ahead and duplicate it, and then you can remove the previous one, just bring this one over to replace it. I'm going to flip it and build it into my design. Now, another thing that you can do with the uh, image adjustment options, I'm just going to click this paint swatch here. So if I go back into the image adjustments, you'll see that there's also transparency. Now, this could be really handy if you're doing uh, paint colors on the walls. When you apply just the standard paint chip, so if I bring out a color from over here, you'll see that it's just going to come out as a solid color. Right, So sometimes it looks a little bit fake on the walls, but if I want, I could use, I could apply this paint color to the wall and I would just use the distort option to stretch it out and make it fit the entire wall. And then I can come into the image adjustment option and use the transparency just to bring down the transparency a little bit. And that will allow some of the natural shadows on the edges of the walls and in the corners to start showing through. So it'll give a more realistic look. Another option that you have, again, I'm just gonna come in here. You'll see down here that you do have the option to blur uh, items as well. So this might come in handy if you wanted to really increase the depth of field within your design boards. You could have items within the foreground that are really nice and crisp and sharp, and then you could slightly blur some items in the background so that you can increase this overall sense of depth. So that would be one way that you could use it. You can also just, of course, go ahead and blur items if you have a particular need for that. And another thing that you can actually do with the transparency tool is if you wanted to create different style mood boards where you are creating large blocks of color and you want to group items into it, you could absolutely do that. You could pull out paint colors from the paint color library. And if you wanted to just bring that color down a bit, you could use the transparency tool to just kind of lighten out that overall paint swatch so that you have a nice color block and then start grouping products into that color block as well. So there's different ways that you can go about using it, but definitely pop into your design files account and give those new features a try. It'll give you a lot more control over all of the product images within your design and really allow you to enhance the overall mood board that you're going to be sharing with your client. As always, let us know what you think and thanks so much for watching.